let's take a look at uh, this evidence that has been presented. Isn't it kind of scary how so much of a society can tolerate mass death? Kind of fucked up. Oh yeah, it's absolutely fucked. Um, the the main, I mean, the main issue in part of what is uh, worrying about this is just how fast people can um, essentially rationalize these things away and how quickly it becomes normal. Like, guys, we we managed to normalize having concentration camps in the United States. We, we still have those. People are dying in them right now from COVID-19. We, we still have these concentration camps where people just kind of forget about it. It's, it's absolutely, it's absolutely wild. It's absolutely wild and, and wrong. Um, well, yeah. And, and SJ, this is something we need to remember. Fascism can happen here. It can be actually really easy to get people used to a fascist regime, even a cruel one. So this is why we need to be vigilant for fascists. This is why we need to be um, willing to get into politics ourselves. Because we, we have to change the world for the better. Because it's possible to change it for the worse. Okay. Let's go into this. The 90 second video of election workers from State Farm Arena purporting to show fraud was watched in its entirety by the Georgia Secretary of State, Brad Rad uh, Raffensperger, uh, shows normal ballot processing. Here's a fact check on it. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at OAN, uh, the, the breaking report from OAN. At about 8 o'clock in the morning, and we're going to roll this back and show it to you. There you go. So now they're going to start pulling these ballots out from under this table. This table, the black one, was placed there by the lady with the blonde braids at about 8.22 a.m. in the morning. So she put that table there. So the same person who's staying behind now, the same person who cleared the place out under the pretense that we're going to stop counting, is the person who put the table there at 8.22 in the morning. Yeah, I saw four suitcases come out from underneath the table. Yeah, upper right hand, you see the gentleman in, in the red. So he just pulled one out. So wh what are these ballots doing there, separate from all the other ballots? And why are they only counting them whenever the place is cleared out with no witnesses? Is the question. What the, wait, what, what the fuck do you mean? Why, why, is it, why are they pulling it out with no witnesses? There are security cameras. There, there are security cameras. You're, we are all collectively witnessing it right now. Do they think that the workers at this polling station don't know that there are cameras? These aren't like secret cameras. They're just right up on the ceiling. So these machines can process about 3,000 ballots an hour. You have multiple, multiple machines there, and they're there for two hours. So you do the math. How many ballots went through those machines in those two hours when there was no one there to supervise, to be present, consistent with your statutes and rules, to supervise the tabulation? We believe. Did they turn off the security cameras? If not, we can just we'll look at the security cameras. Believe that could easily be, and probably is certainly beyond the margin of victory in this race. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at the the fact check here, uh, tweeted by um, tweeted by Gabriel Sterling, who uh, is the voting system implementation manager for Georgia. He's also a conservative. Does security camera footage uh, show a Fulton County, Georgia election supervisor suspiciously pulling suitcases? filled with ballots from under a table after telling poll workers to leave the room. 
And did that election official continue to illegally count ballots without required monitors in a manner that calls into question Joe Biden's narrow win over Donald Trump in Georgia? No, those claims are not true. Two high-level officials with the Georgia Secretary of State's office and a state elections board monitor each told lead stories that their investigations revealed nothing suspicious in the video. The officials said the ballots seen in the video were in regular ballot containers, not suitcases, and they had been removed from their envelopes and processed while news media and election observers for the Republican Party and the Trump campaign were present. The media and party observers were never told to leave because counting was over for the night. Uh, but they apparently followed workers who left once their job of opening envelopes was completed. The chief investigator for the Secretary of State told lead stories. The observers were free to return at any time, she said. Georgia law allows observers, but, but does not require them to be there for ballots to be counted, she said. The claims made at the Georgia State Senate hearing by a Trump lawyer appeared in a video posted on YouTube on December 3rd, 2020, by Trump's campaign titled... Video from Georgia shows suitcases filled with ballots pulled from under a table after poll workers left. The, vote, the video description reads um, uh, basically the same thing. Told four people to stay behind, uh, keep counting votes. Uh, the Epic Times, a noted cult uh, newspaper, uh, reported the false claims in an article titled Georgia State Farm Arena Footage Shows Poll Workers Staying Behind Pulling Out Suitcases with Ballots. Uh, published on December 3rd, 2020, it opened. President Donald Trump's legal team on Thursday prevent, uh, presented surveillance footage to a Georgia state legislature hearing that appears to show election ballot counting workers kicking out poll observers late at night on election day before pulling out suitcases allegedly filled with ballots. A woman who identified herself as Jackie Pick, a lawyer who is assisting with their legal case, said the team received video footage from State Farm Arena's Vote Tabulation Center in Fulton Corn County, Georgia. The team said that the GOP poll watchers were not allowed to watch the counting process in the poll center. But according to Pick, an unusual occurrence took place later in the evening around 10 p.m. A woman, described as a blonde with braids, told workers to stop counting and told everyone to go home. Everyone clears out, including the Republican observers and the press, but four people stay behind and continue counting ballots, uh, counting and tabulating well into the night. They counted unobserved until about 1 a.m. Gabriel Sterling, a Republican in Georgia's voting systems implementation manager, told lead stories during a phone call on December 3rd, 2020, that what can be seen in the video is normal procedure and nothing looks bizarre or odd. Election workers, known as cutters because their job is to open absentee ballot envelopes and verify ballots for eventual scanning and counting, were dismissed for the night sometime after 10 p.m. on November 3rd, 2020, because their work for the evening had been completed, he explained. Those workers who remained were responsible for conducting the scanning portion of the process, since ballots could not be left without being scanned overnight, he said. If you look at the videotape, the work you see is the work you would expect, which is uh, you take a sealed... Uh, suitcase looking things in, you place the ballots on the scanner in manageable batches, and you scan them. Francis Watson, chief investigator for the Georgia Secretary of State, told lead stories during a phone call on December 3rd, 2020, that the ballots were in standard containers, and the work during that time in question had nothing to do with pulling ballots from under a table. She said, uh, there wasn't a bin that had ballots in it under the table. It was an empty bin, and the ballots from it were actually put on the table when the media was still there, and then it was placed back into the box when the media were still there and placed next to the table. There was never an announcement made to the media and other observers about the counting being over for the night and them needing to leave, according to Watson, who has provided information by the media li liaison who is present. She said they just followed the cutters as they left. Nobody told them to stay. Nobody told them to leave. Nobody gave them any advice on what they should do. It was still open for them or the public to come back in and view at any time uh, they wanted to, as long as they were still working. In addition, she explained that the only ballots that were scanned after the media and other observers had left were those that had already been opened in front of the, the observers. Contrary to the claim, the ballots were not in suitcases, she said. The black boxes and bins uh, in the video are standard containers used for the ballot counting process. A state elections board monitor who had asked for his name not to be used due to safety concerns told lead stories on the phone that on November 3rd, 2020, that he was present at the voting counting 
uh, vote counting location beginning at 11.52 p.m. After leaving briefly at earlier in the evening, he then stayed until about 12.45 a.m., uh, when the work for the night was completed. The deputy chief investigator for the Secretary of State's office was present beginning at 12.15 a.m., November 4th, uh, he said. The, elections, uh, the election monitor also told lead stories that between 8 p.m. and November 3rd, 2020, and 12.43 a.m. on November 4th, the scanners had uh, scanned about 10,000 ballots. According to the Georgia Secretary of State's office, Biden received uh, 2,474,000 uh, 507 votes, while Trump received 2,461,837 votes, a winning margin of 12,670 votes for Biden. Sterling said that when he looked at the results, there was nothing abnormal about the distribution of votes. Section uh, 212408 of the Code of Georgia, which addresses poll watchers, explains that the political bodies and parties are entitled to have official poll watchers. Um, the Secretary of State's chief counsel told lead stories, it was not a requirement that observers be present for counting to continue, only that it is their right to be there if they choose. So, there you go. Uh, this, uh, the, you know, if you see this floating around, understand, it's not real. It, it, they are telling you something is happening that is not actually happening in these stories. Uh, what do I mean by cult newspaper? Epic Times is uh, affiliated with a cult called Fulongong. Um, they are extremely anti-China uh, because China cracked down on their cult. Um, and uh, yeah, they're they're a far-right conspiracy nutcase organization uh, that prints stories uh, supportive of Donald Trump, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you hear Florida Attorney General called on people to commit voter fraud in Georgia. No, but we do have stories about uh, QAnon supporters uh, like Newt Gingrich uh, uh, going around telling people not to vote in Georgia, and that tickles me quite a bit. Um, and uh, I haven't talked a whole lot about the Georgia runoffs, but uh, it is... I, I, I do hope that uh, these conspiracy theories keep people away from the polls. That, that would be really helpful. Be super helpful. Super helpful.